CQVX, CQVX, CQVX. This is Havana calling. CQVX, CQVX, CQVX. This is Radio Havana calling all shortwave listeners and radio amateurs. Welcome to... Unlimited, Radio Havana's weekly feature dedicated to the fascinating world of radio communications. Hola, mis amigos radioaficionados all around the world. Radio Havana enthusiasts over the world enjoying not one or two or three ways of playing with our radios, but many other ways. There are up to 101 ways of playing with our radios. I am sure that many of you are able to spend at least a few hours every week now having a good time dedicated to this wonderful hobby that includes such fascinating activities and traveling halfway around the world to install an amateur radio station in a remote island and provide fellow ham operators with new DXTC entities to add to their records. Yes, amigos, the expeditions are very enjoyable aspect of the radio hobby, something I can assure you will provide a unique experience if you are able to participate in any one of them. Way back in the early 1960s, I took part in not one but two the expeditions to activate the then very rare call sign prefix Charlie Oscar 4, the Isle of Pines. That is Charlie Oscar 404. That corresponded to the time to the Isle of Pines, now named Isle of Youth, Cuba's second largest island. I'm your host, Ani Coro, Radio Amateur CO2 BK here in Havana, Cuba. And now the show will continue with more about the expeditions that, by the way, come organized by shortwave listeners and IM radio frequencies in Van Texas. Stay tuned for more radio related information in just a few seconds. Now, our next radio hobby related function here at the Extra Limited Weekend Edition, a QSL request from Belarus. The report from the reception of Radio Havana, Cuba, dates May 25, 2020, at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Broadcasting language, Spanish, and brief details of the program sent by the request. Details of the program are attached to the letter in the form of audio recordings. Thank you very much for the P3 recordings. They came in very nice. Home address, the Republic of Belarus, brief text, and the sender is Anton Brinko. He says, if report is correct, please send a QSL card or a letter of confirmation, which we're sending to you, amigo Anton Brinko. A report is a confirmation of the life the exact catch of one or all 50 kilowatts. Shortwave transmitters more than 50 years old in service that we use here at this time for first off coverage of the up to 3,000 kilometers from Havana, Cuba. Why was it possible for him to pick up the signal related by the fact that the fact that may happen at any time to signals operating via the atmosphere they can supply to at any time? Three low cost standard NPN silicon small signal transistors were properly connected into a well designed circuit will pick up a lot of signals at the and also on the short wave lower frequency bands. My choice for research is based on a little Australian design that was the first transistor is a regenerative detector, followed by two high gain audio amplifier stages. It is intended to use with a phone battery power, so you can connect the battery operated radio to a set of computer speakers and enjoy room feeling volume and good quality audio. I have built many simple radios with this one, the Australian design. <laughs> for simplicity and easy to set up to work properly. No critical rare parts and it works with battery charge voltages from 6 to 12 volts. Very flexible. Used for AM broadcast band reception, it picks up a few DX stations during the local evening hours. And yes, you heard another right. Just three silicon NPN small signals can be recycled from an old default television set or an old radio. Last week I received an email from a USA hand radio operator telling me that he was able to make a very nice two-way CD over the contract on the 40 meters with my three transistors reality receiver and a home built three transistors also transmitter total of six transistors one of the transistors on the transmitter acts as a variable frequency crystal oscillator with PXO followed by a medium power radio frequency transistor at the final amplifier stage so to use a PNP silicon at port one to properly key the vehicle providing a very nice clean and chirp free CW radio telegraphy note power was measured very near one watt, enough to make contact on 40 meters. Then he described the receiver, a copy 
Chinese copy of my three transistor circuit. He says, this is a very funny lesson. One, low noise transistor audio amplifier, two stages, the very small station in my opinion, an excellent example of what can be achieved when using a QRP or very low power station. At the exceptional moment when preparation conditions are at their peak. Using a simple hand wave back pole antenna, 40 40 meters band, made it possible to use this type of simple low home blue radio station without having to in large towers and much or expensive equipment. By installing the halfway dipole as a sloping antenna, you obtain a certain degree of directional transmission and reception that can be achieved. Now, if you sit down and do the total part out for building that QRP or low power station, receiver and transmitter, you will be surprised by two relevant parts. One, that the number of parts required is not that large, and two, that there are no rare parts or hard to find parts, making the project a feasible one indeed anywhere. Si amigos, yes, six transistors, a CW mod key headphones, and your external halfway wire dipole for 40 meters. We may possible for you to join the thousands of rare materials around the world that enjoy low power or QRP operation. I do warn you that perhaps the first attempt will not be very successful or the transmitter combo will not be very nice looking, but it will work. You will be a proud owner of a home built amateur radio station that communicates, and in the meantime, you will also save some money too. See you all in the next upcoming edition of Tears Unlimited coming to you on Tuesday and Wednesday UTC days. And you can send your team reports to info rhc at inet. dot you will say it again slowly. Info rhc. That's India, November. Dr. Oscar Robbie Hotel Charlie. Info rhc. The symbol for at inet. That's echo November. Echo Tango inet. Dot Charlie Universe. Dot cu. And via mail, send your letters and postcards to Arecoro, Rey Havana, Cuba, Havana, Cuba. <laughs> That's all for today. This is Arnie Cloro, Radio Amateur CO2KK, your host here at Radio Havana's TXS Unlimited, saying 73 and very good TX. Thanks, Arnie. Arnie Cloro, DXS Unlimited, heard every Sunday and Monday in UTC days, and again on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, right here on Radio Havana, Cuba.